Well, good morning, Group D. How is everyone doing today? So glad to let you know that today is Wednesday. We do have a video conference today, and it's going to be a great time to come and see you again and give you all an opportunity to see each other, say hello, and for me to be able to see you again and talk to you one more time. So this morning, if uh, you haven't done so already, make sure that you double check the, your homework right or your daily task assessment in your homework before you take your quiz on Think Central. Okay, I'm going ahead and checking to see how many times you log in into the homework reviews before you take your quiz, and some of it correlates because if I don't see too many of you doing your homework and daily task review before you do your quiz, your that grade on that quiz is going to show. It's going to reveal if you went back and reviewed that okay so you always want to check your daily task assessment and your homework and practice before you take the quiz and on Fridays we're gonna have a little group discussion so I want to address any issues that I've seen so far and I may ask some of you to stay longer after our scheduled time of 1130 on Friday so that I can add, have a discussion with you in regards to your overall math grades and and things in general but overall everything looks pretty good we're doing we're doing well and uh, thank you so much for your patience and your cooperation so let's look at uh, our elapsed time and again your elapsed time we're looking at you they're gonna give you a starting time they're gonna give you an ending time and ask you how long it took for that particular uh, travel period so that's the basics uh, sometimes they'll give you two different starts and ending times and then you just have to add those two differences uh, to get your final elapsed time so it's once you get the pattern it should be fairly easy so I'm gonna walk you through this and, and explain how they did this I'm not necessarily going to do the basic math because subtraction is something that we already know what to do I'm just gonna give you the outline so math of practices for a kayak race from 802 a.m. that's a starting point to 849 how long does it take so you subtract 802 from 849 and your answer is 47 minutes okay so starting and ending and all you do is you subtract your starting from your ending time and that gives you elapsed time okay The next one. So Amy reads books from 9:15 a.m. to 9:29 a.m. So that's one elapsed time before she goes to class. During lunch, she reads the same book from 8:18 to 1:35 p.m. So what you do, you get the elapsed time from this one. We'll call this one X. We'll call this one Y. You get the elapsed time from this one that gives you X you get the elapsed time from this one from subtracting 118 from 135 that gives you Y you add those two together and it gives you 31 that's your answer here okay so that's how you figure that out subtract the 915 from 929 gives you X subtract the 118 from 135 that gives you Y you add those two together and that gives you 31 okay So we have another one here. Lucas does his science homework from 512 to 543. It takes him five more minutes to do his history project than it does to finish his science project. How long does it take for Lucas to finish his history project? So in this one, you get this elapsed time. Okay. So again, you see 543 is your ending. 512. Get your elapsed time from there. That's 31, and then you add the five minutes, and that gives you 36. That's how you solve that one. So you get your elapsed time first, and then you add the five more because that's it tells you it takes you it took him five more minutes or five minutes longer to do the history project than it did the science. So this is the science, how long it took us of science, and then you add the five. So again, it's very important that you analyze the question and the sentence. There's another easy one here. K 
Kerry got on the tour bus at 5.15 p.m. You got off the bus at 5.37. How long does it take? Subtract 5.15 from 5.37 and you get 22 minutes. I think everyone's doing very well from what I've seen so far. Everyone's doing a very good job, so keep doing what you're doing. And we're good. we'll get through this. We'll get through this together. Okay, the next one is the analog clocks. So if you look at your analog clocks, they give you the same thing. They give you a start time. They give you ending time. You subtract your start time from your ending time, and then it gives you 45 minutes. Now, it, keep in mind, they're still at the same hour here. Okay, that makes it easy. Okay, sometimes they're going to jump to the next hour, like this one here. Okay, but you know you start at 340, so then you count by 5 to here. Then you stop here, and that gives you 35 minutes. It's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Okay? And if they give you this, you can just do it without even looking at the clock by subtracting those numbers there. Okay? Well, no. Correction. You won't be able to do that. Let's not do that. Let's, do the, let's use the analog clock because you need to practice that. You're going to need it when we get to the next questions. So here's the start time at 12.25, ending time at 12.51. 12 For this one, you can do the subtraction because they have the same hour. And you just count to 12.50, and then you add the 1, and you get 26 minutes. So it's 5, 10, 50, 20, 25, and then you add the 1 there, makes it 26. So your start time is at 10.05, end time is at 10.55, 10.55 is right here. And then you count by fives, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. That gives you 50 minutes. So you start here, you end here. Okay, Dane started running at half past three. Now half past three, the little boy, I remember, I don't know who taught me to do this. I know this is quarter. I know this is half. Okay. Half past three is three thirty. He stopped running at ten minutes after four. Okay. So ten minutes after four. So he started running here. I know this is thirty minutes here. And then 10 minutes here so I'll add the 30 that it took him to get here and then the other 10 minutes and that gives me 40. Mayoshi began making dinner at 525 he finished making dinner at 607 he served dinner to his guests from 710 until 733 how long did it take Mayoshi to make and serve dinner so now you get the two elapsed times for these the one for to make the dinner and to serve the dinner. So to make the dinner, you have to subtract. You have to get the elapsed time from this one. You have to get the elapsed and then add it to the elapsed time of this one. And you get 65 minutes total. Okay. Getting the how the how long it took him to serve dinner is the easy one here because you get 7:33. You start at 7:10. Okay. Seventh, I'm sorry. Seven thirty-three. That's three. That's twenty-three. I already know how long it took him to serve. Once I get that, that's the easy part here. Once I get that, now I just have to figure out how long it took him to make it. So again, five twenty-five. So 25 here's the 5 is here okay up to this one is 35 right 35 then add another 7 35 so it's 6 7 8 9 10 11 this is 12 5 and then 2 uh, 1 2 that's 7 so it's 5 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 
41, 42. We add the 42 to this one. And you get 65. Okay, that's how you figure this one out. I like to draw this for me. You can get more detail and draw an actual analog clock. But once you know your clock, you're able to figure out uh, the easy way to do it like this. So whatever works for you, please feel free to use it. The next are pretty simple. The next we're just doing getting elapsed times. Mr. Devot leaves at work at 8.15 a.m. So here's the start. Here's the ending. Subtract these two and you get 18 minutes. That's easy. Kara started her homework at 6.10. That's the start time. She finished at 6.49. How long did it take Kara to do her homework? Again, so you subtract 6.10 from 6.49. And now, somebody asked me one time, well, can't I use the number line? That's fine. You can use the number line. There's no problem using the number line. You're still going to come up with 39. For me, it's easier to do this and my analog clocks. And we always want to work smarter, not harder. So good job with that one. Let's go to 9. So you have the beginning time, 1.30. You have the ending time at 2.13 p.m. How long does our class last? So that one you get 43 minutes. Okay. And again, I do this one here. I do my analog clock. It stops at 2.13 p.m. So this is 5, 10, and then 1, 2, 3. This is 13 here. So I know from here, from the 6th to the 12th, I know that's 30. And then the 13 minutes here, I add those two, and that gives me 43. Okay? I, I need to see a visual. Some of you may be able, may be able to do it in, with mental math. I like to do a visual. It's just easier for me. The TV show starts at 5.03. Okay, it lasts 55 minutes. That's an easy one. So if it starts at 5.03 and it lasts at 50, I just add those two. Okay. Oops, sorry. 55. I'm getting ahead of myself. 503. See how my brain is working? Then you add the 55. And that gives you 58. So I just added those two. Okay, remember you want to work smarter, not harder. Next one. Ben gets on a bus at Main Street at 10.13 a.m. Okay. The bus arrives at Elm Street at 10.27. Okay. It waits for 10 minutes. Okay. He didn't go. He's still there. Then it arrives at Broadway at 10.50. Okay. It arrives at 10.50 a.m. It starts at 10.13 a.m. How long does is Ben on the bus if he rides from Main Street to Broadway? So Main Street to Broadway. I have my Main Street t starting time. I have my Broadway ending time. All of this is gobbledygook. It's information that they give you, but they give it to you to kind of throw some of you off. If you're smart, and if you look at it, you're going to see, hey, this is 1013. This is endings. All I have to do is subtract these two. If I subtract 50, 10, what is it? 10, 13, and simple subtraction. Four, six, seven, and there's my answer, 37 minutes. Again, this one throw, threw off a lot of students last year. It threw off a lot of students last year. This one right here, because they, they're starting to add these two, and then add the 10, and they went all over when I just say, hey, they, they're already giving you the starting time. They're already giving you the ending time. It didn't say anything here that he went off somewhere else, or he went to another street. No, it's like one continuous line. So start, ending, subtract. The last one, Marcella works on her art project from 410 to 435. Okay. She takes a break. She continues to work on her project from 625 to 643 p.m. How long does it take? So all you do is you get to your elapsed time from this one. Subtract 410 from 435. 
and 435, 410. You can see what I'm doing. Five, you get 25 here, then you add it to this one here. 643. And then notice that you're doing subtraction. Five. Three. That's eight. That's one. Then you add it to 25. Okay. That's three. That's one. And you get 43 minutes. So you just get this elapsed time, get this elapsed time, then you add them. Well, that was easy. That was fun. Hope everyone did well. Good luck on your quiz. Stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused. All right, we'll see you all today on Wednesday. Have a great afternoon.